Hey everyone, it's Erin Brunell, your favorite local realtor. I'm here with my lender, Kate Reagan. We just wanted to get on and provide some of the facts. I'm sure you've all seen a lot of posts about the mass housing grant that just became available. And I've seen a little bit of misinformation or more importantly, like lacking information. So we wanted to jump on and give you guys a quick overview of what this loan product has to offer. So. Kate is with Guild Mortgage, as you can see behind us, and I thought the best place to start would be basically like, what is even mass housing? Because most people aren't aware of what mass housing is. Sure. I'm Kate Reagan with Guild Mortgage. That's NMLS number 19006. If you need to reach me, I'm at 413-387-9999. You can call or text that number. So mass housing is the state first-time homebuyer program. Mass housing offers both conventional loans and FHA loans. So for this program in particular, Mass Dreams, this is a grant program that pairs with a mass housing first mortgage. So you have to be eligible for a mass housing mortgage in order to get the grant money that comes through Mass Dreams. And like during the typical mortgage application process, what makes mass housing a little bit harder to qualify for or different than qualifying for a conventional, a typical conventional loan? So mass housing can be sort of strict about debt to income ratio. Um, they allow people to spend up to 45% of their gross monthly income on housing plus other debts. And so when we do the calculations of what you pre-approve for, that's how we're going to figure your numbers. So what we like about this grant program is it can help us sort of adjust how we pre-approve you so that you can use grant money for down payment, closing costs, prepaids, buying the rate down with up to two points, and pay for the premium for the mortgage insurance, or PMI as it's commonly called, in one lump sum at closing using grant money so that you can qualify for more of a loan going forward. Right. So I've seen a lot of people posting that it's a $50,000 grant. Now, mm -hmm. not everybody's going to be able to take advantage of $50,000. That's correct. So like you were saying, it's structured to pay for certain things. Sure. So out of pocket, what mm -hmm. are some of those expenses that you're saving that the grant can cover for you to help increase possibly a little bit of your purchase power? Sure. So the grant covers a 5% down payment. It covers your closing costs, which are bank fees, legal fees, recording fees, appraisal, etc. On average, seven thousand these days. About seven thousand, you know, depending on the size of the house, seven thousand to maybe up to ten thousand. Right. But that's closing costs, which are the fees I was just describing, and then also prepaid taxes and insurance. So it will pay for both of those. It, the grant money can also be used to pay up to two points which is a fee that you pay at closing to buy a lower interest rate. Right, not a lot of people know what points are. Right. So what exactly is that? A point is 1% of your loan amount as a fee to buy a lower interest rate. So okay. Mass Housing's grant will pay up to 2% of your loan amount in fees in order to buy a lower interest rate. So right now, interest rates, let's say they're five and a half. Mm -hmm. Buying down two points means now your interest rate's three and a half for the term of the loan? No, because the points are a fee that you pay to buy a lower rate. Again, it varies a little bit day to day, okay. but for every point that you pay, you're typically reducing your interest rate about a quarter to a half oh, okay. a percent in rate. So one point does not equate to a full point of interest Correct. rate. Okay, I just want to make that clear too yeah. because people might be sure. no, that's an important on distinction. a higher end. It's a, that's an important distinction. So two points might save you half of a percentage rate. Yeah, I would say yeah. half a percent to maybe three quarters of a percent in rate reduction. By but that's a lot in your monthly payment. Of course it is. And of course, not only in the monthly payments, but as that accrues over time right. as you own the house. Right. And then the other piece is that you can pay mortgage insurance. Normally, it's billed on a monthly basis, mm -hmm. and that's a fee that you pay. It's a pays for an insurance policy that protects the lender in the event that you default on the loan. So in this case, it would be paid as a lump sum, a one-time purchase at the closing using the grant money, so you don't pay PMI on a monthly basis. And so by not paying that monthly, that gives you a little bit more qualifying on your purchase price. That's great. Yeah. So the, the way this grant is structured is, depending on your income level, you could qualify for up to 50000 or, depending on your income level, it could be up to $35,000. So depending on But your on lender's your... going to figure it out, and it's all based on your purchase price 
and your loan amount. So it's not like we give you this lump sum of money to use as you see fit. Mm -hmm. It gets applied towards these very specific buckets, for lack of a better word. When you say depending on your income, now it's not geared towards low income people, but the more you make, the less they assume you need, so the less they'll give you. Is that kind of the thing? Correct. So the way that they do it is they do up to 100% of the area median income, which in Hamden County is $91,300 annually, where you can get up to the $50,000. And then if you are between the $91,300 and the ceiling for this program, which is income annually of $123,255. You have to make between that. Yep, then you can get up to $35,000. Okay. So the grant amount is reduced when you're between that $91,300 and the $123,000. And now, correct me if I'm wrong, there's also limits on purchase price. There is a limit on the purchase price with the Mass Housing Program. So the maximum purchase price in Hamden County is $349,526. And what about in Hampshire County? In Hampshire County, it's $388,362. And in Franklin County, just to round out, round out the category of the Pioneer <laughs> Valley, it's $349,526. Okay, awesome. So we're talking about... I wouldn't say modest purchase prices, but we can't go sky's the limit here. Yeah, I mean the average first the average home purchase price in August in Holyoke was three thirty one. Okay. So that's right well within there. And then speaking of Holyoke, so the other main category to qualify for this loan yes. is you have to be currently residing mm-hmm. within certain municipalities. Correct. So what are the towns that you currently have to reside in yep. in order to qualify? To for qualify this? for this grant, you have to presently live in Holyoke, Chicopee, Springfield, or Westfield, or there are other parts of the Commonwealth that have been identified as cities that were highly impacted by COVID. By COVID. But so if we're talking about our Pioneer Valley, those are the four cities, Holyoke, Springfield, Chicopee, and Westfield, where you need to presently reside. But then this grant can be used to purchase in In any any community community in the entire Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to live and certify, we have to certify that you live in one of those four communities, and then you can go and buy wherever you choose. Awesome. Yes. Another one important piece is you can buy a condo, you can buy a single family, or you can buy a multifamily up to four units. They have to be owner-occupied properties for the lifetime of the loan. Rolling in that multifamily part is great because for first-time home buyers, if you can buy a multifamily and have one apartment supplementing your income, it just makes so much sense. Of so. course. Of course it does. So you have to, again, own or occupy. You have to be a first-time home buyer, which means you have not owned in three years a piece of real estate. So you could have owned like 10 years ago, Correct. sold a property, been renting for at least three years, Correct. and then want to buy again and you qualify? Correct. That's as good to know, too. As long as you're too. technically a first-time home buyer, so you have not owned in three years, you live in one of those four communities at, at present, and we have to be able to document it within the last 30 days. So you need to have pay stubs or bank statements or utility bills or a lease. Yeah. Or you need two of those types of things to prove that you actually live in one of these four communities. Um, and then again, your grant money can be used anywhere in the Commonwealth. That's awesome. Yeah. So mass housing is a program I've always advocated to my clients to try to qualify for. And I know you have as well mm-hmm. because they, they just have so many great products to begin with. They encourage education. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you've always mentioned how they offer um, mortgage coverage if you become unemployed. Also that. So the mortgage insurance that you would pay with a single premium with this grant money would cover you in the event that you lost your job through no fault of your own. And they will pay up to six months of mortgage payments while you get back on your feet. So if you're eligible for unemployment, then you're eligible for this coverage, this insurance policy through Mass Housing. So, and Mass Housing is great on the counseling side. So if people seem to be slipping on their mortgage payments, if they're starting to pay late, Mass Housing will reach out to you and try and come up with a solution, whether that's sending you to homeowner counseling to try and help you get your budget back on track or support you in other ways. I've heard some really unbelievably wonderful stories about how Mass Housing was able to support homeowners through COVID who had had their income impacted and were struggling with their mortgage payments because Mass Housing wants to keep people in their homes. And Mass Housing stays processing your loan. It's not that typical loan where it's going to be sold to a third party right after you close. So Mass Housing, you know, your program stays through them. Correct. They insist on servicing all of their loans. And so they service every loan that they back 
Awesome. Yeah. Well, like I said, we just wanted to get this information out there. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to Kate directly or to me directly, and I will connect you. Um, she's got a really easy application process online, makes things really um, fast and efficient and quick to get you the answers that you need to see if you qualify for a mortgage. So thank you so much, Kate. I appreciate your time, and you guys all have a great weekend. Have a great day.